Pet First Aid Seminar. A recent survey found 67% of U.S. households own pets, and that's about 85 million families. But not all pet owners know what to do when their animal is sick or having a medical emergency. We, as pet owners, have a responsibility to provide the care, the essential care. And the essential care is knowing what's normal for your pet and knowing when something is off, explained Kevin Young, president and co-founder of Positively for the Animals. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Pets are part of the family, but it's nearly impossible for them to let their owners know if they don't feel well or need immediate medical attention. You could have a dog, it could be the best dog in the world, so gentle. But when that dog is sick, that dog could reach out and bite, it could react in so many different ways, said Jeannie Sluck, a pet owner. To better prepare pet owners for emergencies, co-founders of the organization Positively for the Animals Kevin and Lisa Young host free first aid seminars. One of the guiding principles of the nonprofit is education to inspire responsible pet ownership. They're gonna learn a lot of ways to maybe help treat their pets, and also they're going to learn some new tools in talking with their vet when there's a problem, stated Young. The trainings take place at community libraries in northeastern Pennsylvania and cover a wide range of topics, including how to administer CPR to a dog or cat. Temperature, capillary refill time, and mucous membrane color. Those are the three most important vital signs a pet owner should know, said Young. Sluck cares for shelter animals in hospice at her home. She attends the training regularly to brush up on her knowledge and better serve the animals in her care. You have to know what to look for and to be prepared. The trick is, always be prepared, said Sluck.